So when it comes to taking professional photography with your mobile phone, it can be really frustrating. That's because there's a lot to learn. There's the settings, the camera, the equipment, and all that sort of thing that you need to learn. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take you through the step-by-step, -step, the settings I use on my Android, Android mobile phone. Um, but if you've got a different uh, smartphone, the, the settings will be relevant to you as well. And then I'm going to take you through the editing and ultimately uploading to the internet. So let's jump right into it. So hi, my name's Dave Haslam. Uh, I'm from Professional Photography um, with your smartphone. And today, what I'm going to do is go through, and uh, well, the equipment I'm using is a smartphone, which is an, a Samsung S8. And I will be using a gimbal, um, which comes from Cinepeer, all for £100. So it's easy for anyone in the community to go out and start making your own photography and actually taking professional photographs so that's what i'll be using um i also made a a, a list a guide which i've uploaded to my internet um, website so if you want to go over there just jump over to there grab a copy of it and it will show you all the uh, details of how to do professional photography with your mobile phone so if you've made it here and you haven't subscribed please click on the subscribe button below it helps me feed my cat and it keeps him happy so this is going to be a multi-part video um, and i will be taking you through uh, the settings the equipment i'm using um, and going out on location taking photographs and i'll be telling you exactly what i'm doing to take here taking the photographs uh, i'll be talking about the different lighting techniques which are pretty much the same as any other photography um, um composition and and that sort of thing and uh ultimately editing and uploading to the the, the internet on um, to whatever social media platform that you um prefer so in a moment, I'm going to take you through out into the uh, uh, into, onto location and we're going to go through um, taking photographs. But before we do that, let's jump right into the phone and I'll show you what the settings are, um, I have and what I'm using. Now you can, if you like, go straight into the photos and start using the basic settings that uh, come with the phone without altering them and start taking photographs, um, altering them with your finger for uh, focus and and, uh, and and exposure but what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into the settings and see if we can get a better, more professional result out of that so first thing we need to do is to go over to the gear icon in the left hand side and click on that now on the rear camera i have um, a few settings here which is uh, three by four 16 by nine full frame and one by one. So if we start off on uh, three by four, which is the settings that I use, that is basically the standard definition settings before HD televisions came in. Um, and that's, a, that's the settings we used for many years. In my case, it's 12 megapixels is the resolution for that, which in fact is probably the best resolution that I have. So that's why I've selected four by three. 16 by 9 resolution is 9.1 megapixels, which is still very good. Um, 16 by 9 is the, the, the format for high definition television. And that's what they use to fill up your brand new types of TVs and not the old square ones that we used to have years ago when I was a kid. This setting is really good if you are making thumbnails for YouTube videos. So... If you're going to be doing that, then I suggest that that's what you use. Uh, full, I haven't really got a use for that. I think it just means full screen, as in full screen on the mobile phone. Um, so I leave that alone. One by one. One by one is, as it says, one. Uh, if it was one inch by one inch, it's a square. That's nine by one. Uh, megapixels 9.1 megapixels as it is um, this is good for if you're going to make photos for things like uh, selling on ebay or uh, amazon so if you want to do that sort of thing then 
one by one is probably the best ratio for you. So that's the aspect ratio. Uh, the format or aspect ratio is one by one. Now, for my purposes, because I want to keep the resolution as high as possible, I've gone and keep kept this on four by three. So that's the rear camera. The front camera I'm going to skip. It's really set up exactly the same way uh, as a rear camera. But the front camera is used for selfie modes more than anything and I can't think of any other reason that you want to use it. So I'm going to leave that as is at the moment but if you do want to set it up that's how, where you set that up. Motion photos. Motion photos are basically where you take a photograph and it will take a clip of photos or video before the point that you've clicked the shutter and after the point that you've clicked the shutter. That means that you can then scroll backwards and forwards to pick the best image within that roll, that roll of film. It's used for things like uh, if something's moving and you want to take a, a, a quick still photograph of it, it may be that you click the button just a few seconds too late and you can then scroll back in that little movie reel and pick the best. Uh, frame for your photographs. So as we are not going to be taking motion photographs at this moment in time, I'm going to leave that switched off. Um, hold shutter button down is the next one. This is something that you may need to change from time to time. So what uh, this means is that if, uh, if you're taking a single photograph, you just take one photographs as 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 the uh, as it suggests there but if you want to take a burst of photographs very much like the motion photos it takes a series of photographs while you're holding your finger on the shutter the difference with this is you will have a multiple series of photographs whereas with motion pictures you will only have one photograph taken from a a a, a reel of video so the difference is you'll have more photographs to choose from so you can actually just go through the photographs and uh, you don't have to scroll backwards and forwards through the reel to get the best photographs you will have a series of all the photographs so at this point i'm going to skip over the video settings and go straight into the uh, um, useful features so let's get back into the phone and i'll take you through what i use on useful features the next one is HDR. HDR can be useful if you're having uh, different lighting, like hiding, uh, there is bright and dark light in the same picture. But to be honest with you, if it's just a flat image, then HDR can actually screw your picture up a little bit because it's not true HDR. What it's trying to do is process your, 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 your lights, your darks, your shadows, your um, brightness. Um, and your midtones and tries to put them together and create the best photograph out of all of them however if you haven't got differing contrasts within your picture then there's no point in having it switched on i have it always switched on here but i think what i will change that to is apply when needed let's get back to that uh, what that means is then I can then just apply it as I need and don't have to keep coming back to the settings. The next one I'm going to go through is the uh, grid settings. 3x3 three three grid is useful because it helps you line up the photographs, get your horizon straight and, and, and everything. And if you get that right in the actual photographs, it also helps you with composition uh, as well. So we'll go through that as we take the photographs but what I suggest is leave that turned on and you will see that there will be nine boxes on your screen or uh, four lines splitting your screen into nine boxes and it will after I've shown you help you take a better photograph let's skip through the rest of these um, I would say the next most important thing is to go through and pick your camera modes. I don't know how many times that I've had people say to me, well, I haven't got panorama or I haven't got um, pro mode on my camera. 
it's probably because you haven't checked it in here. So if you go in here, you'll find that there are different modes for your camera that if you check will give you extra functionality. So there is no point in worrying about it. Just tick them all and uh, just use the ones that you want. So I would suggest just going there and clicking it all. Um, keep using last mode. That's a preference that I have so that I don't have to keep going back to photos and then having to scroll through to for professional if that's the one I'm going to be using. So, and I would say quick launch by clicking the power button twice is a pretty annoying thing to have switched on. So I keep that switched off. Um, if you do keep it switched on, you will end up as I did with lots of photographs of the inside of your pocket because it launches sometimes and then you start taking photographs without you knowing it and you'll end up with uh, a lots of pocket photographs so um, I keep that switched off it can be really annoying um, quick review it's up to you if you want to keep it on I turn it off because if I'm taking multiple photographs using my um, shutter I use I actually use my volume button for the shutter I'll come back to that in a second um, if you keep that on then every time you take a photograph, it will review that photograph on the screen and you won't be able to take another photograph until you cancel that. So keep it switched off. That'll stop you having all those problems. So if we go back up to here where we got shooting methods, I, if you go into there, you can actually use all kinds of different ways of um, using your shutter. take picture from record um, or record video, which is obvious that's what you want to do by pressing the volume key. That's what I use. So that's pretty much it for the settings. So I think all there is to do now is to go out on location and we can just start taking photographs and uh, I'll show you how to make them look a bit more professional as you're taking them.